I'm Charles Holmes Hope, coming to you from the 2012 Akuuai Annual Conference, being held in Anaheim, California, and serving as your host for a special event that Akuuai is pulling together in honoring Chief Housing Officers, pillars of the profession. Our goal is to honor and pay tribute towards these wonderful and amazing folks who have given their hearts and souls to really help to advance and pay for it this wonderful and outstanding profession. So come along as we pay tribute and honor them for all of their hard work and commitment towards this profession. What do you believe will be some of the biggest challenges that housing professionals will face in the coming years? Well, I think there are a number of challenges, and one I think is the, the generation mm -hmm. um, of, of folks coming up as young professionals now. I look at my own children who, and their spouses who have already considered uh, career changes, mm -hmm. and they're young, and it makes me nervous about housing folks that I kind of feel like Derek Jeter sometimes, you know, <laughs> that without the salary and the body and the you know, running ability, but um, other than that, I feel like Derek Jeter and that I've stuck with CMU, you know, kind of mm. through thick and thin, and yes. they've stuck with me. And I think that's going to be rarer and rarer for our, our young professionals. Um, because there are so many issues with our students now, too, um, you know, I look at alcohol and drugs and mental health issues, and of course a lot of those things have been around for, they've all been around for decades, yeah. but um, some seem much more severe now that I think we need to be able to compensate our professional staff, mm -hmm. um, provide them with mental health days or time away so that in family time and some other things that um, maybe some of us weren't afforded when we were coming through mm -hmm. the ranks um, in order to keep them. Uh, I, I do think it's going to be difficult. I do think within the last uh, you know 15 years or so there has been uh, there have been some important developments that I think will um, be hallmarks for the profession hmm. for a really, really long time. And one of those is living learning programs and the ties that we have with faculty and the academicians on the campus. Uh, and the other one is um, uh, learning outcomes and trying to figure out how we're going to develop learning outcomes mm. that complement the academic mission of the institution and complement the learning that goes on in the classroom. So. I think in many ways the last 15 years has sort of been the time yeah. uh, where we've sort of come into our own and decided that um, we, uh, we understand we have to be part of the academic mission of the institution. We have to complement that. Mm -hmm. We're not going to be the cornerstone of the campus. Uh, and we've figured out how to do that and we've done it very well. I think we've all been inundated with student mental health issues mm -hmm. uh, that has uh, on my campus risen significantly and as I share with colleagues and that goes back to the kinds of students that are coming up and my previous comments about uh, the safety systems that were there. there. We have to maintain those safety systems but we have to push the responsibilities as I said back to the students and to the families. Um, some of our buildings are continuing to age. Uh, we talked about the privatization. Um, we have to get the right people on the bus in terms of yeah. our staff. Um, I think we're getting better with that. We have to identify what our needs are as an organization in, in response to the needs of the students. Mm. Um, if you hire well, you supervise easy. Mm. Um, <laughs> supervision for staff is always going to be a key. Everybody supervises or is participating in management of others. So yeah, that's a key skill I also think you have to have. Um, the basics for the students will not change. Um, they're, they're leaving home trying to figure out what to do with the rest of their lives, developing some emotional, financial independence from family, uh, and create their own way in the world. And all we're trying to do, whether it be in uh, residence life student housing or just on the college campus, we're providing that support system so they can achieve their goal. Uh, that has not changed. It's just the, the methods we go about doing. Well, um, we've seen incredible growth in Akuhawai uh, in the larger global arena. Uh, I think that, and this had been talked about literally for decades, mm. you know, trying to define the I 
hmm. in a Kuho eye. What does international mean? And I think in the last oh, six, seven years, uh, the various uh, leaders and uh, executive boards and certainly the leadership in the central office have really uh, gotten their heads around that idea. And you, you see a Kuho eye involved with uh, training professionals in South Africa, mm -hmm. for example, or reaching out to other regional housing uh, groups uh, in other parts of the world. Uh, the emergence of China um, and, you know, what is happening there and, uh, you know, in, in their building campuses and housing of thousands of, of students. Um, you know, that, I, I think the future in that regard is just off the chart in terms of where uh, our work can go in, in helping other uh, regions of the world uh, better serve the students that live in university housing. Well, some of the same ones that we do now, but cost is going to continue to be an issue. Um, and um, issues of diversity, um, mm -hmm. we, they're not going away. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we haven't found the answer mm -hmm. or the answers. Um, so I think um, helping people understand that difference doesn't need to be bad, scary, mm. um, uncomfortable. You know, it can be uncomfortable, but that's a good thing right. because if you respond mm -hmm. to it positively, you will grow mm -hmm. and, and exponentially learn about different kinds of things. But I think uh, to be more specific about that, I think um, uh, gender neutral housing is a huge mm. issue. Um, yes, is. Some areas are dealing with it better than others. You know, some find a way to kind of deal with it, but not really deal mm. with it. And um, so I think that's going to be a, a large issue that um, isn't going to go away. And we need to find a way to manage that positively. Mm. You know, there's still the need. And we talk about the old British and idea of education creating a well rounded person a person who can engage in leadership, a person who can engage in humaneness and consideration for their fellow humans. Mm -hmm. the, the, the residential experience, not the Facebook experience, mm. will be ever so important in a global way and if we don't, can't communicate the value of what we do by giving results of what we do through assessment and so forth. That's going to be a challenge. And mm -hmm. most of us who are in student service, and, and we don't like doing, you know, we like to feel good. We don't need to document that, you know, we have a learning outcome and you're better at doing this than you were when you first came here and you have a better knowledge of this than when you mm -hmm. first came here. God, that's hard work, mm -hmm. you know? So I think part of that becomes the big challenge is as we change. Mm -hmm.